Starting a new hobby or a new profession can be really challenging and scary at first. I started photography by shooting city and landscape and for years I was too afraid to shoot portraits. I was just too insecure and I was really afraid that they wouldn't like my pictures. But to overcome a fear, you have to face it. Today I want to talk with you about starting photography. I want to talk about shooting with your first model, finding your first client and the journey of becoming a successful photographer. I want to talk about all the things I wish I knew when I started boudoir and nude photography. Tip number one, stop worrying and stop overthinking. Just do it. You have to take the first step. If you're too afraid to start with boudoir and nude pictures, master headshots and portraits first. Find some models who have experience and ask them if they are interested in shooting with you. Be honest about where you are in your journey and let them know what you want to do. I would always recommend shooting with professional models first so you don't have to matter about posing and can focus on your tasks. Like light, composition, communication, camera handling. Tip number two. You will suck, you will fail. I know, I know. We just talked about all our insecurities and fears. But to be honest, you will fail from time to time because we all do. And to be even more honest, there's a huge possibility that your first 10, 20, 30 or maybe even 50 photo shoots won't be your best ones. But those are the ones where you will learn the most. And failing is just part of the process. You're not the only one who's struggling from time to time. But don't stop. You will improve and you will get better. Just start and be aware that there will be struggles and frustration from time to time. But I can assure you, it's worth it. Tip number three. Communicate, communicate, communicate. There's a reason why most photographers prefer to be behind the camera. Most of us tend to be more introverted and more comfortable behind the camera and all the equipment than in front of the camera in the spotlight. I get that. But to create great portraits, boudoir and nude photos, you have to be a good communicator. For me, it's even more important than all the technical stuff. Learn how to communicate with your models and clients. Tell them what you like to shoot, what you like to learn or improve this session. Learn how to comfort them, how to give them the guidance, how to ask for different poses, outfits, sets, hand placement, expressions and so on. Tip number four, just get started. Find a place where you can shoot, find a model and start shooting today. What are you waiting for? If you have no place to shoot, start in your living room or rent an Airbnb. If you don't want to hire a model, start with a friend of yours who likes to be in front of the camera. If you don't know how to guide and pose your model, find a professional model. If you can't afford a camera, use your phone. There are no excuses and there are a million ways you can start and improve your photography today. All right, those are probably the most important secrets I wish I knew when I started photography back then. What about you? What are you struggling with? What's holding you back? Just let me know how I can help you. And leave me a message in the comments below the video. And if you like more information and tips and tricks about boudoir and mood photography, or if you just like to see behind the scenes video or more exclusive and uncensored content we create with our stunning models, you find the link to our Patreon account in the video description. There we share more content, talk in detail about everything about shooting and retouching boudoir photos 
and the business side of our work. So now it's your turn. Start now and create stunning art. I see you in the next video.